hey, I want to talk about your brain on malnutrition again, because it's actually rather fascinating. And although anorexia is such a destructive and um, devastating illness, it's also rather fascinating if you look at how your brain reacts to malnutrition. If you could just take an outsider's view and, and sort of look at what's going on, it's really incredible. And so what really, I mean, of course, when I was, when I was sick, I didn't have this great awareness of the changes that were taking place in my brain and because they happen really gradually. I mean, over months, sometimes even over years, that the, the real sort of changes of um, how my brain started to function different, differently due to my state of malnutrition. But I do remember one day at university, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't go to many lectures at university um, for various reasons, anorexia being the biggest one, but um, I was in this lecture and I was trying to concentrate, probably a test coming up, so I knew I actually had to sit down and learn something. And I was trying to listen to what the guy was saying at the front, it was this big lecture hall. I went to the University of Edinburgh, so we had these lovely big lecture halls. I was trying to focus and all I could hear was this rustling of a crisp packet. And it must have been like more than 10 rows back. This, I don't know, someone was just eating, oh, there's a cat. Um, <laughs> she's very affectionate today. Somebody was eating a bag of crisps and I swear that like, like some wolf in the wilderness, like my ears picked up and I could hear every rustle, every crunch. And I kept on trying to turn around and look and see who, who it was. And, and then I noticed this was this guy, he was so far back, it was up the auditorium that I could barely even see him. But then the rest of the entire 10 minutes was me sort of trying to crane my neck, trying to see what, what type of crisp was he eating, what flavor of crisp was he eating the whole pack, packet, all of this stuff that's so fucking unimportant and none of my damn business. And yeah, I, I missed the rest of that lecture because some guy yards back was eating a bag of crisps. And I can look at those instances now and be sort of, wow, that's incredible. That's incredible that my brain did that. At the time, it was just stressful. And I don't necessarily think I picked up on, um, oh, this is my brain because I'm malnourished. Because those sorts of things have been happening for so long that... I just sort of thought it was normal for me. Now I look back, I'm like, that's not normal. It is not normal to be so hyper aware about food that you know every bite of what someone else is eating in your vicinity. <laughs> like, that's not normal. Normal brains don't do that. There wasn't a single other student in that lecture who was craning their neck around trying to see who was eating the crisps and not listening to the lecture in front. Everybody else was just listening. Most people probably didn't even notice that there was somebody eating a bag of crisps. But I did, because anything to do with food, and my brain was all over it. That other cat, the black cat, that's Dave, by the way. Dave is um, my husband's cat. I got Dave for him for Christmas. So we got a cat for Christmas. But Stinky is still my cat. But yeah, so if you notice that you're hyper aware around food, and that anybody eating anything, anywhere, sparks your interest, picks your ears up, makes you notice, makes you unable to focus on what you were doing. Remember, that's not normal. That's your brain on malnutrition. And remember that when your brain gets out of malnutrition, that will go away. <laughs> and thank God, because it's great to be able to concentrate on other things.